Hello, and we're going in today to a bit of dancing. Uh, one of my favorite dances are maybe Bossa Nova or some other great dances. Um, this dancing is not really a classical dance or a social dance or a ballroom dance or just a dance for fun. This kind of dance is more the dance that is within you. And this dance is to the sacred rhythms of the universe, of the cosmos that is supporting us in making that shift into homoluminous. And the homoluminous is important because this is the new human that we are becoming. There were the Neanderthals, there were the Chromo people, they were always different kind of humans. And at this time, we're shifting once again. Yes, this is an evolutionary leap and many, many are supporting that. The Homo Luminous comes, of course, more from a shamanic and from, from indigenous traditions, but it seems to be following through in many different traditions. So we picked it up and we just love it. And about 10, no more than 10 years ago, but 15 years ago, through the Monai Ki, the first shifts happened in our body. And now, as the whole thing is shifting, the earth is also in this rebirthing process. We had ice ages, we always had evolutionary situations on the planet. We have another one. You could say it's because it has the earth has been harmed so much and all of that, but it's not about blame. It is about the shift that is occurring. How it was triggered, what are the insides and outs, is not that important. Important is that we find these rhythms that the earth has to make that shift. So our homo luminous shift from homo sapien to homo luminous is connected to that. Nature and cosmos don't work separately. And also the shifts that are happening in the cosmos from the Piscean to the Aquarian age, or what the, what the Indians or some Indian traditions consider the, the end of the age of Kali, the dark ages, 2025 coming up. It's all connected. It's about us finding those rhythms and us flowing with these rhythm, rhythms and dancing into all these new states of being, in these new states of consciousness. And where it all starts really is with self-realization, understanding who we truly are. Not just that physical, that human experience, but the spirit, the heart, and the soul, and how we are all connected. So, let me bring you a few rhythms. Another flute with 432 hertz and a beautiful dolphin that is inviting us to attune to these rhythms.
So let me know in the comments how the rhythms are flowing through you. This is just the beginning and yet we need to start somewhere. So let me know how it goes. Much love from my heart to yours.